Good day, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on cable management. Today I'm going to be talking about cable distribution, and then I will conclude with some cable management components. We have a fair amount of ground to cover with not a whole lot of time, so let's go ahead and begin this session. Of course, I'm going to begin by talking about cable distribution. And the first item under cable distribution is the main distribution frame, or MDF. This is the location where the DMARC, DMARC extension, main switch or router, and patch panel are placed. The MDF is where outside traffic enters a location and is then distributed to the internal network. It is possible to also have an intermediate distribution frame, or IDF. It's a location's solution for when a single MDF is not sufficient. They usually occur in multi-story buildings. The IDFs are connected to the MDF by vertical cross-connect cables, or VCC cables. It is common for an MDF to contain separate IDF panels for each floor of a building. A vertical cross-connect is the main patch panel for a location. It usually resides in the same location or very close to the DMARC and main switch or router. I mentioned patch panels earlier, so let's talk about those. They're used to terminate network cable runs, usually within a building, as in from the wall jacks to a central location. The network runs are called horizontal cabling. Patch panels are used to organize and administer the physical aspects of the network cables. Network runs are punched down to the back of the patch panel, which normally contains either a 66 or a 110 block, with an associated port on the front of the patch panel. Patch cables are used to connect the patch panel ports to networking gear, quite often a switch. Workstations connect to the patch panel using horizontal cabling. This location is called the horizontal cross connect or HCC and is usually located in the IDF. Switches may or may not be present in this location. If a workstation needs to be relocated to a different switch or port, all that needs to be done is to make the change in the location of the patch panel. So you unplug the cable from one port and you plug it into a new port. With that covered, let's talk about cable management components. Labeling is an important part of cable management. It can cause stress when working with networks, but it doesn't have to. The key to proper labeling is to create a naming convention, which is a systematic and consistent method that makes sense for the situation. Proper labeling will ease the management of the physical aspects of the network especially when dealing with cables. Labels should be placed on everything that deals with the network, beginning from the wall jacks all the way through to the patch panel, switches, and routers. The naming convention should be documented and kept with the network diagrams. Let me give you an example of a naming convention. Suppose Office 219 has network outlets on all four walls. The jacks could be labeled 219N, 219W, etc. And that would be for 219 North or 219 West, etc. The horizontal cabling from 219 feeds into a patch panel in an IDF located on the second floor that contains two 48 port switches that tie in all the horizontal cross connects. The cables coming in from Office 219 to the patch panel could be labeled 219W or 219S, etc., etc., as it relates to their location in the office. The switches could be labeled SW2A and SW2B. Now, suppose that the patch cables for Office 219 connect to switch 2B's ports 20 through 24. The patch cables could be labeled 219N SW2B 21 or 219E-SW2B-22, etc., etc. The key is to be consistent and to document everything. And finally, there are cable trays. 
masses of cables can block airflow and act as an insulator that allows for excessive heat to build up. Cable trays are used to organize cabling and to keep it away from areas where cabling may cause heat to build up. Cable trays keep bundles of cables neat and fairly well organized. That concludes this session on cable management. I talked about cable distribution and then I briefly covered some cable management components. On behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I hope to do another one soon.